Counterattack back on location this week. Newport Beach for the USA Water Polo Assembly, Development Summit, Referee School, Awards Dinner, and more. We'll have all that fun for you. Plus, the USA men are headed to the World Championships. It's all coming up next on a brand new Counterattack. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here. Thanks for joining us on the Counterattack. We join you this week from the Renaissance Hotel in Newport Beach, California, site of the USA Water Polo Assembly, plus the first ever USA Water Polo Development Summit, our annual national awards, and a referee's school. It was a jam-packed weekend of water polo. We're going to get to that in a moment, but first we have to take you down to Sao Paulo, Brazil, where the USA men's national team did the job. They punched their ticket to the FINA World Championship coming this summer in Guangzhou, South Korea. It came down to a pivotal semifinal game against Argentina. It was delayed because of bad weather. Then the game was played. Team USA did their job. Let's take a look at the highlights. After going 3-0 in group play, it set Team USA up nicely with a match against Argentina in semifinal play. This was the important game win this, and they were in, and it was all Team USA. They jump out to an 8-1 lead in the first quarter. Alex Bowen, five goals. Johnny Hooper, Alex Olbert, Chancellor Ramirez, three goals each throughout the game. They lead 12-2 at halftime on their way to a 21-4 victory in Sao Paulo. Drew Holland and Alex Wolf they split time the entire tournament in cage. They combined for 10 saves in this one. And with that, Team USA punches their ticket to Guangzhou, South Korea. After the match, we caught up with Luca Cupido on qualifying and what was left in Brazil for Team USA. Today we went against Argentina, we just qualified for South Korea World Championship. It's going to be a great summer, very challenging, playing Panamic games after the World Championship, so we're very excited. Team USA looking to finish strong in Brazil. It'll be their second game of the day after weather postponed action the day prior. And after beating Brazil handedly in group play, this one much closer. Alex Bowen scores three goals to lead the USA offense, but the match would end tied after regulation at 9-9. Into a shootout we go. Those are always up for grabs. And it was Brazil taking it 3-1 in the shootout, winning at 12-10. They claim gold. Team USA and Brazil both headed to South Korea for the FINA World Championship. So Team USA finishes 4-1 and one on the week. Not the finish they would have wanted in that final game against Brazil, but most importantly, they accomplished the goal of qualifying for the FINA World Championships. They'll join our USA women in South Korea coming this July. Now we switch gears to right back here in Newport Beach and a big weekend for USA Water Polo. Annual awards, assembly, so much more, development summit, some great minds coming to talk about water polo, coaching, and so much more, plus a referee school. Here's a quick spin through the weekend right here in Newport Beach. Good morning, everyone. Welcome uh, to the 2019 USA Water Polo Assembly. We're glad you could all be here today. Uh, we have a host of great speakers. With that in mind, we're going to kick things off with uh, the CEO of USA Water Polo, Chris Ramsey, for an introduction here. I think it's always wonderful when we can spend time together, exchange ideas, and catch up on what's been happening. It's been a really interesting year, and there's a further interesting times ahead. I am a two-time Olympic gold medalist who competes for Team USA. I am Melissa Seidemann. I am a water polo player. The best coaches are never done. And I see this across disciplines. The best people always kind of take this approach that it's what you learn after you know it all that matters most. Once again, a big round of applause for all of our national award winners. Well, it's a huge honor to be mentioned in the same breath as Tom Hermstad and, uh, and with Val and Eli. So uh, that's huge. And then also it's kind of a testament to the people who helped me get here. It's a nice thing for me to um, be recognized, but it's more an honor to them. Thanks everyone for joining us here tonight. It was a great weekend at the General Assembly. USA Water Polo has done a fantastic job at bringing the top uh, coaches, um, athletes, and then also people who work on the mental side of the sport to us in order to teach us many great things. Uh, they did a great job of also recording all of this so that it's at our fingertips. I'm really excited to take what I learned home with me. Now let's talk USA Water Polo membership community events. This past Monday, Staples Center. It was USA Water Polo night at the LA Clippers. As you've noticed, USA Water Polo making an effort to get more and more membership events, partnering up with pro sports teams in different cities around the country. Here's a look at pictures from the game. USA Water Polo members getting a chance to get down on the court, high five some of the Clippers, cheer on the Clippers. It was a great night. Looking forward to our next big USA Water Polo membership event coming up soon.
Now we turn to women's college water polo and the regular season is in full swing with non-conference tournaments all across the country. We get you caught up on all the latest action with our Cap 7 College Scoreboard. Hawaii continues to have a hot start, defeating Arizona State 10-7. Back east we go, Iona over Villanova 10-7. Cal edging Long Beach State 11-9 at the Cal Cup. And Azusa Pacific over Pomona Pitzer 9-6. We mentioned Hawaii off to a good start this year. They shared this, the Rainbow Wahine feeling good early on. We got a, another victory in ASU 4 and all in the season. Yeah, let's go! Water polo on TV this week while well, water polo streaming. Download the ESPN Plus app. You can check out the Bruno Classic hosted by Brown University. Action this weekend, February 1st through the 3rd. And now we close out our show as we do every week with our social media send-off brought to you by our friends at Cobian. We start things off first with our winner of Cobian sandals. Every week we're giving away a free pair of Cobian sandals. To enter to win, all you have to do is share a little piece of your water polo life on Twitter or Instagram. Use the hashtags counterattack and every step matters and you just might win. Here's our latest winner. We go back to Junior Olympics this past summer. I recognize that set. Our counterattack live and our friends from Dynamo Water Polo out of Atlanta there to cheer us on. And Dynamo, the latest winners in our Cobian free sandal giveaway. Lots of positive feedback on the heels of the first ever USA Water Polo Development Summit. Coach Adam Krikorian sharing his thoughts. Keynote speaker as well, Wade Gilbert weighing in. And yesterday we had our latest Instagram interview with Team USA's Johnny Hooper, fresh off qualification for South Korea. Here's a quick look. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, first uh, we have to qualify for the Olympics. And sure. <laughs> a, bunch of, a, a lot of training and hard work goes into that. So, I mean, uh, I mean, of course, it'd be it'd be amazing to play uh, in Tokyo and have that, that sort of exposure, like being half Japanese and, and playing for our U.S. team. Um, definitely, it, it's it's funny sometimes to think about it, but I mean, it, it would be amazing. It'd be, it'd be amazing to play in, uh, in Tokyo and, uh, represent USA. Uh, it'd be, it'd be great. It'd be the greatest honor. Speaking of the world championships, our friends from Greensboro, North Carolina, visiting with FINA this week to try and bring the 2025 FINA world championship to North Carolina would be the first ever time the world champs were hosted in the United States, that via Hill Caro. Hopefully that works out for them. And now we go to Europe, where Team USA teammates Brigitte Games and Gabby Stone have teamed up for the Spanish club team CN Mataro, sharing some group shots here. Those suits will stand out. Mackenzie Fisher featured in the weight room at Stanford, taking flight once again. Here's this post via her Instagram account. But take a closer look at the comments. How about this? The long-awaited debate, which Fisher sister does Coach Adam Krikorian favor, at least for today, it's Aria Fisher. And then last but not least, we go to Italy. Check out Italian national teamer and pro recos, Niccolo Gitto. This workout, one I've never seen before, the weighted pull-ups while he gets punched in the stomach by somebody else wearing boxing gloves. You know water polo players are tough. This is taking it to a new level. So there you have it, some of the best water polo on the internet this week. Thanks so much for your submissions. We look forward to more of them next week. Keep them coming. Use the hashtag counterattack. Tag us at USAWP. We'll share what you're sharing. That's all for this week's episode from right here in Newport Beach. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, when you're on the counterattack, look weak side.